he was playing Yoshi earlier today, and now I think he uh, just, it, it's obvious that his Pikachu is doing a lot more work, so. All right, Pikachu it is. It in, uh, you, play, you play what's gonna win, you know? Not who you want to play sometimes, so. I'm gonna commentate this, but I'm also gonna be studying this matchup. This is a hard matchup. I, I talked to UK about this matchup once before, and his reaction was just like, oh man, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Bark with a, another up B uh, slub. I've seen, I saw that a couple of times in his previous match. He, uh, he doesn't seem the most comfortable with uh, Pikachu off stage, but on stage, his decisions yeah. are all very, very good. That one seemed like he just kind of got an, he sort of like, you know, stage killed himself. He got too close to the wall yeah. and couldn't, couldn't get the upward angle anymore. Too far in. Yeah. And now, yeah, he's a stock behind, but... Uh, oh, out. Yoke seems to not be able to hit him in neutral. It, it's hard. It, there's... The up air covers almost everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and it out-prioritizes all your moves. For sure. Too. It's. I basically heard the idea is... Puff can only approach from above. Yeah. Uh, that, that's pretty much the only viable option because Pika has an aerial that will beat out any other angle of approach. Yeah. And then, then with the up, approach from above, it's all about timings. you got to time out the up airs or the up tilts to get in there. And it looks like we're right now what we're seeing is just trades over and over again. Uh, One tit for tat, tit for tat. Yeah. But the up tilt to up, up air. air. That kills. Yep. Uh, you got to watch out for Peak, for uh, Jigglypuff's up air. It looks it looks pretty friendly. It looks like it's just saying hi, but in reality, it's a very powerful kill move. Oh, uh, and see what we saw there is uh, Mark Sanchez managed to di out of that down air, so that way he wasn't hit stun anymore. And uh, Yunke, you know, when you're when you're hitting with a drill in your head, you're you're thinking, oh, I should just be able to do whatever my follow up is, but it just whiffed. Um, but now we're now Yunke is one stock ahead in this tough tough matchup. So we'll see uh, we'll see how Bark's response oh. is. Just a lot of spacing. Oh. This is such Combo. tight spacing. Back air. That'll go. Yeah. That's a nice combo. Yeah, I lo love seeing the uh, reverse up airs into back air. It's just a beautiful thing. Now, my theory on this matchup kind of goes like this. When you're the puff player, Pikachu stocks are going to go away in one of two ways. Either you're going to get a low percent, like below 15% throw to rest combo, or the Pikas live into like 80, 100% every time and you're yeah. trying to get up airs and up smash, you know, something that's yeah, up a little up. harder, a little harder to get. So I understand. It's the peak at high percent is yeah, it's you're... almost like an extra stock or something. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Yeah, I understand. Once you once you get the once you uh, if the opponent isn't letting you have those hits in neutral that yeah. would normally lead into a rest, then you just have to work once you get past 40, you have to just work out the rest of the percentage and, and seal the stock that way. And since you're Jigglypuff, yeah. um, oh. you, don't have, oh. you don't really have a kill combo wow. like that, yeah. where that was pretty much just a zero to death. It was like, once you once you landed the hit, you know, Jigglypuff never exited a uh, hit stun. So it's definitely a hard matchup for Jigglypuff. I definitely right. see what you're saying there. Yeah. So Bark takes game one. And uh, we'll see what adjustments UK has. Maybe he found another oh, uh, best combo. setup. Here it is. Oh, uh, forward smash, no? Back, back throw. Yeah. Interesting. You know, as long as you, uh, as long as you actually end the combo and don't let it be one of those things where you think you can get another hit and you don't. Yeah. Oh, nice. Like in this matchup, that's very important. Here to live. And he's just. That, that soft hit neutral air, you know, you have no chance of KOing with that. You're just resetting the situation, so. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous that some characters uh, up smash uh, here we go. the kill. Very nice. What were you saying? Dangerous for oh, some Oh, it's just when we have that uh, weak nair, especially when you're recovering back from the edge, some of the faster characters like Pikachu, they get on stage and just turn around and still edge guard you. Like, it didn't yeah. really help you. <laughs> And, and, oh, nice! And okay. since you're since you're Jigglypuff, your your Combo. movement is all con, is all commitment. 
You don't have yeah. if you're if you're deciding that you're going to put yourself in a certain place, place a neutral air there. It's going to be there for a while, but you also can't change your mind and fast fall or drift away from their moves at all. Wow, I thought for sure he was dead. That was an amazing recovery into forward smash. Up smash? Oh. No, nah, trying to keep the edge guard going. My oh, goodness. the reverse hit. He definitely did not want yeah, that. Yeah, he wanted the strong in the other direction. Oh. It looks like he's still, he'll make oh. it back, though. Oh, oh no, that was an amazing auto. chase down. And the throw, 126, the back throw will kill. Welcome oh, to yeah. Smash 64, folks. I mean, I'm Every pretty sure that kills from like 100% in the center of the stage, either direction. Yeah. From Kika. It's just in this game, you know, every character has a kill throw. Yeah. Oh, that was a good response with the back air from Yunke, but the hit stun just wasn't that great, you know. He chooses that oh. too low percent, and now he's almost out oh, of jumps, man. but the reverse hit will save him. Yeah, and Mark now is getting a little unlucky with these edge guards here. Not, not the results he's looking for. Yeah. It's a long stock from Yunke. Yeah, Yunke just mixing up his double jumps, his, his aerial drift. Really, uh, really making Bark question everything he's doing, <laughs> and now and and he built up 36% of ex extra credit, which, like you said, isn't that necessarily the best thing because right. now he's out of rest combo percentage. Oh, but this could be an up tilt. Yeah. Back, Back throw. throw. Just it trying to get him off stage, build more percentage. Nice. Oh. I don't know if that was reaction or read, but that was. Quite nice. I, that would had to have been a reaction. Like I'm sure he expected it. Oh, oh no, he, he tried to rest the, the neutral uh, attack. Oh, that was a great. This is a great. Yeah, combo. that's worth. And oh, so close. Oh. Wispy, Wispy. Okay, no, no, yeah, he's blown. He's just blown the other way. Okay. When you're when you're a puff player, you're always aware <laughs> of what Wispy's doing when he's doing it. Oh oh. oh. And there you see, I, like I was saying, yeah, he's not saying. so great off stage, Bark Sanchez. His up these are not 100% on point. I think, yeah, give him a little credit on that one. I think he was trying to space it to get the perfect sweet spot because he knew UK was right there at the edge. Yeah. But just just a little short. And uh, so now we're 1-1 here. Very even game. And, uh, you know, these players are, are not necessarily playing campy or anything, but the games are lasting a lot longer than the other ones simply because nobody's getting any uh, zero deaths anymore. Right. For a while, the first game, Mark Sanchez landed at least two zero deaths, maybe three, and um, now Yunke's not letting him have it, and Bark is not letting uh, Yunke land any rests, so it's just... Uh, it's just all neutral exchanges, one hit for one hit. And you saw the adaption just there. Um, Bark got thrown to the top platform and immediately went for the up B. Not even a chance, UK pulling one of those yeah. rest, jump rest nonsense things. Yeah, exactly. That up B is amazing for getting out of trouble no oh, matter yeah. where you are on the stage. Ooh, that was a really good up there to neutral. Ooh, in trouble now. Sneaky. Oh, oh no, the no. forward tilt, just being patient. He knew. And now he's up five stocks to three. Yeah. Oh, Not an insurmountable dance. lead, but in a matchup like this where Combo. everything is, oh no. Yeah, every one of these That's hits. Every time, every time that Pikachu gets yeah. a combo like that, links one move into another, you have to figure in order for the Jigglypuff to do something similar, that would just have to be two exchanges in neutral. So it's, it's way more, like every every hit is way harder for uh, oh. Jigglypuff to come back from. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, it looked like uh, Bark DI just enough to not get hit with the last hit of down air, so that up smash did not connect with the combo. Yeah. But got the up to left air. Up there to keep him off stage. Oh, that's it. And yeah. Oh no. But oh. Oh, sneaky. Damn. Yeah. But oh, Wispy, 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 what's gonna oh, happen? No, she's gonna wake up. She's gonna wake up. She's gonna jump. Oh, that was close. Bart could have gotten in there. Yeah. No, nice neutral air to down air, but. 
No follow-ups for the rest of that combo. Maybe he could have done another neutral air instead. I don't know what the combo options were. It just was really unfortunate for Yunke. He couldn't get anything off of it. Yeah. Hey. Slay adjustment positioning could have led to the true follow-up there, but... Yeah. Well, when you don't have a lot of drift, it can be just tough to get mm -hmm. into position. For sure. I... Pikachu's recovery on, on on his up B is just so good. You never know. You, you're never going to be able to punish it on reaction. You yeah. have to know where he's going. Yeah, but I will say, Bark's been going to top platform pretty consistently, so you UK could start guessing that. You know, stand at the edge and just start to make the move to the top platform as Bark starts the up B. Well, the there. Oh, I was about to say, um... It was it was five stocks to three at some point, but uh, but uh, Yunke looked like he was bringing it back that game. Let's see if he can keep that momentum into the next game. Sometimes when you tr when you're trying to make a comeback like that and it gets it gets shut down at the very last second, you can keep your momentum going and say, I'm I'm still winning all these neutral exchanges. You know, I I can I can beat this guy. But also sometimes that just. That just to me to, can mean you're never gonna yeah. get the last hit on them. You know, they're always gonna have the last laugh. Oh, oh, that was that's unfortunate. Gets the pound, but not quite enough enough height. Yeah. And then once you're in the pound animation, you don't grab the ledge anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, good throw. Oh, good ledge snap. Nice. Down air. Oh! Wispy! 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 That was beautiful. Just sit there and let Wispy do the work for you. I, I don't think that, that would have been possible that Wispy. I don't think he could get down there fast enough. Oh, he could have gotten a rest, I think, but it would have been a uh, trade. Yeah, I don't know if it would have killed, because that would have been... I don't even know what that was, like 20-something percent off the yeah. side? Uh, it'd be close. I'd kill a Kirby. Yeah, for sure. But Pikachu is another beast. Then you're always worried if you position yourself just a little bit wrong, you get the reverse yeah. rest, yeah. and then they're just coming back. And, and and well, in that case, he would have been completely off stage, so that would have been really unfortunate. Is that going to kill? No, not, not quite. quite. And oh, that might. We're looking oh. at a very even game three here, or game four here. Yeah. Which is kind of what I was expecting, because coming from uh, where the momentum was last game, you know? Uh, obviously, like we had been saying, it's a tough matchup for Jigglypuff, but if you can win neutral, if you are just that good, you know, you can always right. beat your opponent. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Honestly. Very good patience from Yunke. Oh! UK and his down smashes. Yeah, he is he is real good. They cover a lot of options. Is that his trademark? I when I was doing the ditto with him just before here, he, he got that on me a whole bunch of times, and I, I I've been severely underutilizing that move. I use it against fast fallers like Falcon. You know, characters with bad recovery. I don't really yeah. think about it for a Pikachu. It has a very fast startup, right? That's yeah. the primary reason you use it. And then it also has a pretty good hitbox. I guess it would have disjoints on the side. Yeah, it disjoints at the legs. It's got, uh, or it's got invincibility at the legs, really disjointed. Um, Sensi had a really nice angle, like yeah. straight horizontal. There's not a lot of moves, you know, kind of like a curvy down tilt. Oh, these follow-ups from Pikachu. You know, he's just not letting him get back to the get back to the stage. Yeah. Not letting him get back on his feet. And he almost ran out of jumps yeah. on that. No, that's that's the scariest part of this matchup is trying to get back. If you get hit by that Pikachu aerial, it might be done. It might be out of jumps. Oh, yeah. chance? Yep. And that's a clean stock. Let's see uh, if there's a punish here. No, he recovered. Oh, he did not recover in time. Oh, my God. That was 60. 70. Oh. This situation, that was just really rough. Oh, fading. Very good. And oh, the back air, that will clean up the last stock, a 3-1. Yuke played his heart out, you could tell. Yeah. He was in that game 100% of the time. He did not want to ever let up. But the matchup it's and Bark matchup. just playing very smart. Playing, yeah, Bark, Bark cleaned up for sure in those last two games. Look, you know, 
Game two, you know, he was missing a couple things. You and I were commenting, you know, he's getting unlucky with the reverse hitboxes. Yeah. And you came back on stage. Hit things a little more cleanly. So uh, that on that last game. game. And that, that last uh, that last rest punish, the, what was it? He came down with neutral air, neutral air. Got him <laughs> back on stage with a reverse yep. hit up air. And then started another combo. Got him up to 90%. And then that whole situation got him off stage. And it was just very simple, like... You're coming from above me. I'm just gonna wiggle my butt at you. Here's an up tilt. Yeah. I, I I thought that was like UK game the DI to stay on stage. And I was like, oh wow, that's amazing. You're not gonna die off the side, but then just still kept getting hurt. You know, converted into an entirely new combo. Something yeah. A little less standard.